some women that are turning around asking a man, what are we? Listen, consistency literally shows you how much that man wants you. Hmm. If that man is inconsistent, he's only in it for a short period of time. It's your boy, Mr. CV. I'm back. I'm back with another special, special video. And I'm back with Simon Roll to talk about a very, very important topic that I've actually been needing to do. But I thought, you know what? I really needed Simon Roll on this one because she's also been struggling with this. And sometimes I've been struggling with this as well because of things happen in your life. Mm -hmm. And that's the need for consistency. It's easy to start a channel, especially a YouTube channel. It's very easy because everybody wants the limelight. Mm -hmm. By the way, not everybody's going to have the limelight. Some people were born to be at the back and that's not an issue that's just different areas that people need not everybody has the mm -hmm. ability to be at the front because not everybody has that presence but also as well apart from recording videos there's also a need for you to consistently do it there's sometimes i post on tiktok i get two views and i can't lie to you it disheartens me it disheartens me but for me because my goal is so big and so wide that i just tell myself look i've come this far i can't stop going i have to mm. keep going and you know what another thing i was even saying to someone today that your imagination has to be so big do you know why you gotta have a vision no that's not the reason why look that's not where i'm going to your imagination has to be big do you know mm. why ask me why but your imagination has to be big do you know why why? The reasons because when your imagination is so big, your mind has no other reasons than to create ways of achieving that. Talk about consistency anyway. Why is consistency important? Consistency is important because at the end of the day, we're all individuals. We all have, you know, we all have down times. We all have up times. Yeah, but in life life you just literally just gotta get get on with things the like life don't stop for no one <clears throat> and time is very precious so in order for you to like you know be inconsistent you know you're just wasting your life away mm. and personally i know we, we struggle like with personal life maybe you might have kids work maybe relationships might become distractions and so and so but personally i think I've just learned to do things in a way where like I don't overstress myself. I create a to-do list, a weekly to-do list or a daily to-do list. Mm. And I literally just tick off things one by one. Cause yes, I work, I've got kids, I do loads of things all at once. You might think, how do I manage to do all these things? I just literally have a, a tick list that I just took I tick every single day. Even if I'm walking and I need to make certain calls, I'm going to make that call. Do you know mm, what I mean? Mm. So sometimes, yes, us individuals, we might be looking for that motivation from our family, our partner, our friends. To be honest with me, I don't get motivation from no one. My motivation is literally from me. Mm. Sometimes some individuals, yeah, the best person for you is yourself. When you realise that you bring certain people around you, a lot of people become distractions. Do you get what I'm saying? So... Mm. At the end of the day, if you know you're good for yourself and you motivate yourself, you create that to-do list and you just try not to surround yourself or put yourself in a very strong mental state not to create some sort of vulnerability in order for people to come into your life and distract you from your purpose. So personally, that's my, my way of being consistent and the importance of consistency is just to literally be moving forward and striving in your life. Yeah, no, even, and you know, you what? know what I mean? And the, and the thing is always, obviously, for me, obviously people say I'm quite consistent on the YouTube and all the things. And for me, I don't mm -hmm. know. I just, I don't know because I also wanted to do a video on discipline because people told me I live a disciplined lifestyle. And thinking about it, yes, I do because I have certain things I do on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. But, Obviously, it's that consistency, trust me, especially when you don't get the views. I remember there was a guy that shouted me up on Instagram to do a video with me. And that was about a year or two ago. Mm -hmm. Since then, my channel has gone up to get 1,000 subscribers. I'm even building about two or three channels. The guy is still the same. And when I called this guy, it was like, ah, oh, yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it. 
to I today. Feel like, I feel like also accountability. Mm. I went through a year of accountability. How could I sit down and be dwelling on the fact that certain people have done this to me? I ain't achieved certain things. It don't make sense if I'm mm. not doing things to actually push myself forward. So accountability was literally a huge main factor. It was me just understanding the way that I'm programmed, me understanding my unhealthy habits, my my good habits, how certain things can like push me forward, and me I'm programming myself from all these bad habits that i used to encounter in my life and mm. me just realizing that listen if something can't working for me why do i keep doing if i'm if i keep going to that unhealthy place mm. and it ain't pushing me anywhere why am i still doing it so you need to be accountable and just hold yourself for allowing certain things to happen in your life or allowing certain people to come around you and also you need some sort of emotional intelligence as well so being accountable in terms of when somebody says something to you, when somebody does something to you, don't be quick to react. Sometimes mm. silence will let you see a bigger picture and see if certain things are good for you or not. Oh, Do you know what I mean? Wow. So being accountable was literally a very see, good thing for me. You see what this um, channel, you see what Mr. CV, you, you know see what, what Mr. CV does. Yeah. Just my channel now. You see how she's just yabbing. I didn't even know she had this inbuilt motivation inside her, you know. I didn't even know that. If I <laughs> if I come up for you right now, <laughs> listen. Mm, but on, on a serious <laughs> note, though, in terms of the con <laughs> consistency, because mm -hmm. obviously there was a time where you even chatted me, said, "Oh, that you needed to be more consistent on YouTube." And what's what's some mm -hmm. of the things I even said to you? I said, "Look, start off small," mm -hmm. because I think people get too Just excited people get mm -hmm. too excited ah i want to do this Editing, i want to post on this, tiktok this, i want to post that, on, mm -hmm. and sometimes it's just about look just for now just get videos out there of course everybody wants to look the best everybody mm -hmm. wants their best equipment but at this coming moment you have to start from somewhere <laughs> the economy is tight no apart from, <laughs> apart from even the but economy apart from that you just gotta start from you just gotta start from somewhere mm -hmm. even if it's just recording in your room every week every time Literally. i think as you keep going on since like he's even motivated me i ain't liked i've got hey, content for the I next i should be charging you for for motivation. the next week the next week but I sometimes like with me i feel like i just need to handle things myself learn things myself don't be scared to ask anyone mm. but sometimes there's all those friends there's always them friends that are also enemy of progress you, so you it's know not what? you know what i was even that. thinking you know what because now because we create mm -hmm. youtube videos mm -hmm. sometimes i don't want to watch other people youtube videos you know mm -hmm. not because i hate it at all but i feel like i want people to watch my youtube videos you know what i mean but a lot of the time i actually watch other people's youtube videos but you videos. can't be selfish no, no, no. you gotta help other people the to reason why i'm help. saying that Do you know what i mean now i watch other people's youtube mm -hmm. videos now because also i'm also learning different things that they might do in their videos that i can also add into my own and like you said as well don't be scared to ask for help too if you need help definitely ask for help and i think the last part for me as well is a case where i think the hardest people to motivate are people around you i think it's more easier to motivate outsiders but people are around you what people are around you the people that have ever had my best interest are strangers <laughs> you know, people, people that have met people are around people you have met outside hard to motivate Listen, I, like I remember you. one time my son was playing around. The auntie literally just came to me and said, have patience. I swear that my whole day was going smooth. Mm. Smooth. Because she probably looks at things from the outside, how hard certain things are. But all she told me was to have patience, darling. Mm. Like, things will obviously get better. And, so, and you know what? It's I'm, actually, glad you, I'm glad you mentioned that because with the consistency too, yeah. you need to have patience. When you're posting... You're not seeing results. You're exactly. not seeing views. Don't You're not seeing this. Yourself. Just mm -hmm. know people are watching. There are people that are probably watching my videos that I've never seen before. Mm -hmm. But you know what? If no one praises you, praise yourself. And for them people that don't praise you, you know what to do, darling. <laughs> distance yourself stop going to places that you're not loved don't go somewhere where you are tolerated go where you are loved but also as because well, let me say this as well there's man, some man. people that will come into your life yeah and literally just distract you from your actual purpose mm. but that's what i'm saying accountability and being mentally strong would never allow that into your life with the consistency like you said you need that patience because for me personally when you're not getting those views mm -hmm. 
just remember people are watching and just keep going and of course it's not easy to be consistent sometimes you just need to tell yourself look listen even if it's only going to be one video a week you're gonna post mm -hmm. start with that just to get that flow going just to help you out as well because like i said it's a shame where i see a lot of people they're not consistent on the videos and they just think it's just magically gonna happen and it's not gonna happen yeah. and let's be honest with you i start making videos there's no guarantee that people are going to it's going to go out there like that mm -hmm. but all you can do is just do your best and hopefully we don't know who might watch this video but hopefully just try and stay consistent as possible i also need to be consistent I'm also human enough to recognize that look things <coughs> happen in our lives sometimes oh. there are things that happen in my life that i might not be mentally ready if people are not liking what you're doing for me personally i take it as a source of motivation really because i feel mm -hmm. like you know what I've come a long way and mm. it's time to prove them wrong. I'm going to try and be consistent as possible in my videos, making while on Wednesday, making my normal YouTube videos, posting shorts. Mm -hmm. And obviously I do a lot more in terms of posting. And I know because she's got kids and she's busy, I know it's going to be a bit more challenging, a bit more tough. Now, I'm going to post every week like I have been for but the past The funny couple. part is this, I know a lot of people, for some reason, they'll post on WhatsApp but they can't post on their social media page and I don't get it. Mm. Or they'll post or they'll sit on their phone for hours. They don't post. They don't mm. do it. And I'm like thinking like... But oh. I think it's as bad. It's, it's, it's all down to how much you want it. Mm. So you got to reflect on yourself and say, how bad do I really want this? Hmm. Do you know what I mean? And then that's 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 all it's down let me, to. Let me give you one trick in the book of CV. Let me give you one trick in the book of CV. This is my way of, because for me, I'm very reflective on a lot of things. And I try and be reflecting on things. On Mr. Trying to, CV. Hey, I try and reflect on things on trying to make life easy for myself and for other people. Mm -hmm. And one thing I always do, because a lot of people struggle with getting subscribers on YouTube. Mm -hmm. But the way I see the world, I see the world as every single person in this world is a subscriber. Mm -hmm. Every single day, you meet. 10 20 people a day mm -hmm. if you get one person to subscribe to your channel in that one day mm -hmm. in a year that's 365 subscribers mm -hmm. if you get two in a day that's seven almost 700 over 700 subscribers yeah if you get three in a day that's over 1000 subscribers yeah. so for me i think that's very realistic i think that's very very realistic yeah. any person you meet i'm not saying once you meet them go and jump at them and say oh subscribe to no you build a level of report but i'm telling you if you tell them what you do i'm sure people will subscribe if they give you their phone type in your channel click the subscribe button if they unsubscribe afterwards not a problem because trust me as much as making videos and this you also actively have to push those videos as well and yeah. it's not easy Cause some people just want to make the video and just relax and think, oh yeah, I'm going to get the video is going to go. And even funny part again, the guy that lived in my place, there was a time where I showed him the thumbnail of my channel. Mm -hmm. When I showed him the thumbnail of my channel, I was thinking this guy's going to be like, oh yeah, like improve. My man said, no one watches your videos. I said, hey. <laughs> He said, oh, there's a one guy that walks up and down the street, he gets 100k. Mm -hmm. Your videos, you only get two views. Be like, ready to explore, man. Bah. Don't be so, you know. I was just like, you know, I told him, I said, if it was that easy, you as well go and make videos and see whether you can get 100k. Because not every video you make. No, but I feel like it's also down to your niche. Like with me, when I first started YouTube, it's just the fact that I just wasn't consistent. If I was consistent five years ago, I'm sure my YouTube would have gone far. But that's what I was saying. That's life why you have to style, do. life, life in general. When, when you don't learn how to multitask, yeah. When it comes to your personal life as well, you are always going to have to. Ooh. stop and start let me say but when you just say it let me take 10 minutes out of my day and just record and just get on with my day i will i will post it another time that's fine you're telling me you don't have 10 minutes in your day to sit okay. in front of a let camera me, let me also say this of as well you do. let me say this as well it's not as easy as she's saying it because of course everybody does have that extra 10 minutes and that mm. and, but it's not that straightforward and it's not that easy and i don't want people to make it feel as if 
oh you can just take nice no, not nobody ever is saying it's easy but also as well i want to touch another part as well it's not just about consistency in making videos i think one of the biggest thing i see girls complain about when it comes to guys too is about consistency because obviously when you're chasing a girl you're sending messages every day when you now got the girl you're thinking yo why should i be doing all this so i think as well consistency in relationship is also important as well at the end of the day it's how bad you really want the person you really want the business you really want the youtube me i'm not a man myself but me just talking to men i've just understood when a man sets his eyes on a woman and he says that's the woman for me anything he brings to the table will become unquestionable because he knows he has to invest his time and time is literally time you will never get time back right mm. so he has to invest time effort and, and energy into it that's what i say with a lot of women when you meet a man make sure that man is investing in a lot of time and energy so that that man has a lot of time to lose he can invest <laughs> nah, he can, he, nah, this, no this, he has he has so, something to lose so, so the that, woman don't have anything to lose i'm talking from a woman's perspective oh like let me talk no, let me man's let me also talk for well, you don't let me finish okay, so cool. it's not gonna work in all right it. let's go so my advice to a lot of women yeah when you meet a man <laughs> let that man show you that he knows that you're valuable he knows that you're worth that investment with his time his energy his effort remember men work hard for their money not saying that we don't work hard for the, our money but we need money consistently so for a man to take money out of his pocket his hard-earned pocket and give it to you that's one factor for a man to spend time with you that's one factor for him to use his energy on you that's one factor but for you to think a man is not doing nothing for you or not bringing anything to the table and just as much as maybe he's he might lay you on his back and you think that man is going to bring anything to your life absolutely not so them women that are turning around asking a man what are we listen consistency literally shows you how much that man wants you hmm. if that man is inconsistent he's only in it for a short period of time he's not in it for a long period of time a man can vouch and say once he meets that woman everything is unquestionable unless he lacks a level of maturity or he has some sort of commitment hmm. issues right i'm gonna tell you if he has commitment issues, if he has certain heal, um, wounds that he hasn't healed, he's obviously going to bring that into a relationship. At the end of the day, you don't have to stick with a man that is going through a lot. If he hasn't unprogrammed himself from these unhealthy habits, all I'm going to say is let that man go and go find a man that actually okay. is ready for you. All right. Now you've said mm -hmm. your own. For mm -hmm. me too, I think it's vice versa. I don't think it's just the case of, oh, the man just spend all his energy no. let me let me finish can you talk from a man's perspective no let me finish I'm, no this is also a man's perspective because if you because i don't want you to no, oppose me because... no we're not opposing you but relationship is a two-way thing if if the man is going to spend his time and energy on the woman and yes the woman should also invest their time and energy into the guy too because it shouldn't be a one-way system but women it's, is a natural nurturer women no, are always women do natural that. whether they do that or not show that show that through your level of consistency as well if she's not showing you then she's not she's not exactly so she don't want to get why that's why i said that those are the, she no, don't want to get why that's why i said that is vice mm -hmm. versa if you can't just say the man should show it the woman too should also show it too i'm not saying the man shouldn't show it but the woman shouldn't show it but i'm just saying from a woman's perspective one what you give is what you get do you understand <laughs> same but with then, a guy too but back to what we're saying about consistency mm -hmm. i think personally it should be on both sides in the sense that if the man is putting energy time effort and invest in it the woman should also do the same too so that is mm -hmm. equal energy when he feels one-sided that's when it becomes a problem but the main part i wanted to even touch about consistency in relationship as well is because if you're doing something before or whilst you're trying to get the girl or mm -hmm. you should not stop doing that thing you should be consistent enough in doing that thing so that it doesn't feel as if oh i'm only doing it just to get the girl Won't once i've got her? the girl 
then I'm stopping. You should no. still what you and you I, should still do what you did to exactly. get exactly. So mm-hmm. that's I think that's where a lot of guys lack that consistency. But they lack it because they're not really down for the woman. No, I don't think so. They that's, lack no, it. No, I don't think so. It's that's true. I'm not. I'm not agreeing with that. I think they they. The one of the reasons why they don't show that level of consistency anymore is because now you've got the woman. Now you feel, oh, let me relax a bit. That's why. So that's I don't think it's not because they don't like they don't they don't like the woman. They do. Me personally, they do. But it's just that a man would always be consistent. It's, if he it's, wants the best it's, it's like for example it's now, as wait, as it's like for example now you're applying for a job. Of course, the energy and the intensity you use to be applying for the job and telling them you want the job. Is going to be different than when you actually get the job. So why can't he unlearn that unhealthy habit before he meets a woman? Well, nobody's saying he can't unlearn the unhealthy habits, but we're just trying to encourage... You put in so much work just to get a woman, yeah? Now you're in a relationship with a woman. Okay. You're not doing nothing. Nobody's saying... And then when that woman decides that she doesn't even want you no more because you're not putting in the work anymore, you now come and say, oh, girls are all this, girls are all that. My dear, you get what you give, in it. It's uh, as simple as uh, that. For me, you get my point anyway. Because for me, mm-hmm. at some point, it will get, it will start to get tired for a lot of guys, and that's what some guys. I'm talking from a man's perspective. Mm-hmm. That's what a lot of guys will say. He will start to get tired because, of course, now you can't put in the same level of energy you was putting at the beginning. But anyways, what I'm trying to say is, for guys out there and women out there show that level of consistency and that consistency yeah. doesn't have to be just about making videos it can be about relationships or any other things too mm-hmm. that you need to be consistent about mm-hmm. so that's just on me on consistency uh, monroe any final words um yeah just overall just be accountable reflect on your life always come from a, a place of understanding when it comes to yourself have some little talks with yourself and analyze where you're going wrong and analyze what what um, bad habits that you've learned and what things that you could unlearn in order to help with your success in the future you can't keep doing the same thing going for the same type of men going for the same type of women uh-huh. going for the same type of friends surrounding yourself around people that don't care about you and expect a change your environment matters your mindset matters you just need to get you just need to be stern on yourself and have that level of maturity yep as always look but yeah she said it all so there's nothing else for me to say if i say anymore i'm just wasting you guys yeah. this time so it's your boy mr cv have a fantastic day night evening wherever you are yeah take care don't forget to comment and like and subscribe yes. to Simon Monroe, Monroe TV. and Mr. Mr. CV. CV. Your boy, your boy Wonder. Yeah. The one and only. The bullet inside the machine gun. <laughs> Damn.